Well, I'm uh, in my book, I'm actually pretty optimistic on that. And actually, I have the argument that capitalism is now at the, if you will, apogee of its influence. Now, we don't know if this is going to be, uh, you know, global maximum. So it would go down from that point or it's a local maximum and it can again go even higher. But I make this argument based on two uh, on two elements. The first one is that you're geographically, as I kind of uh, sort of mentioned or intimated in the previous answer, it is actually covering greater human, sur I mean, surface of the earth than ever before, especially because of China and then the fall of communism, I mean, 30 years ago. Uh, but also because it is really entering into new activities um, and making things that in the past were not capital become capital. You know, our cars have become now capital because we can rent them out or we can actually drive the cars for profit. You know, our homes have become also capital. They used to be what is called personal property, which means it does not generate income, uh, but now they actually be, become capital. So I think that it was something that again goes back to you know discussion that um, in the early 20th century that L Rosa Luxemburg had a very big role in when she had, uh, sort of argued that capitalism in order to expand needed to move into non-capitalistic uh, forms of production and basically invade them but what I think she missed is that uh, yes that's not all because you can also create and that's again going back to Schumpeter you can create new ways of producing things, combining the already things which exist, and creating new commodities. And in that sense, I think capitalism recently has been able to create new commodities because it has commercialized things which existed, and it has, on the other hand, uh, created new commodities through technological change, including, for example, the fact that we can use Zoom today or any other uh, such method. So I, I would say that as of now, I don't see a serious ideological contenders to capitalism. However, I want to just finish with that note. I'm very much of the sort of historical school in the sense that I don't believe there is a natural mode of production that would exist forever in history. So I could definitely imagine the situation where capitalism or the, these three types of um, uh, the, the three elements that I mentioned before no longer are valid. So that one of them or two of them, or maybe even three of them are changed by other ways of organizing production. But as I said, I don't see it right now. 